Yo, what is up guys? My name is the YBN Geek, and in this video you'll be learning how to add cars to your 5M server. Now before this video begins, you will need to have WinRAR and Open4 installed on your computer. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to GTA 5 Mods, and then click on this Vehicles tab. Now once you've clicked here, browse and find a car you want to download. Now once you find a car you want to download, uh, you're going to see a green download button right here. Click it and it's going to take you to a new tab and there's going to be another green download button and you're going to download the car. Now once you have downloaded your car, navigate through the file until you see an add-on tab and you will see the name of the car and a DLC RPF file inside of that uh, folder. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Open4. Once it loads up, you're going to click this edit mode button and Open4. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open, it up, open up the folder that has the DLC RPF inside and drag it into Open4. Once in Open4, there's going to be two folders, one called Data and one called X64. What you can do is you can copy the name of this folder, make a new folder on your desktop, and call it what this folder is called. Usually this means it's the handling name and this is what the spawn code will be inside your 5M server. Open up the folder you just made and open up Data inside Open4. There will be some meta files that you have to drag into the folder you just made from Open4. So just click and drag them. Now this effects folder right here, you don't need to worry about that. This is just a simple tutorial. I'll cover that in a later video. Now once you're in the folder you just made for the car, press new folder and rename it to S-T-R-E-A-M, stream. All lowercase, make sure it's all lowercase guys, all right? Now go back to open four and click this big black back arrow and then hit X64 vehicles.rpf and you'll see these three files called fragment objects and texture dictionaries you're going to take those files and drag them into the folder you just made now in case your car has a vehicle mods folder all you got to do is open up that folder and you'll see mods.rpf and some files just click and drag them into your new made folder now once all of these files are in uh, your new made folder you're going to click and drag them into stream Make sure to not drag any of the meta folders into stream. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to drag an, uh, a, f a file called underscore underscore resource dot Lua into the folder you just made. Now open up your 5M server until you've reached your resources file. Open up your resources file and create a new folder called bracket C-A-R-S close bracket cars. Now you want to click and drag the car folder into your server. Now you want to locate your server.cfg and view the file. Now scroll down to where all your scripts are and type start bracket C-A-R-S bracket. Now once all that is done, restart your 5M server and load into your 5M server. Make sure that you restart your 5M server first because if you don't, the server won't recognize that there is a new file inside your server and the car will not work. Once you're in your 5M server, go to vehicle related options, vehicle spawner, spawn by model name, and then type in the spawn code. For me, it is 300 GW, but for you, it'll be different. Now press enter and wait for the car to spawn. It'll take a little bit depending on how much resources the car came with. There we go, my car is spawned. So that is how you add cars to your 5M server. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. It really helps out the channel. Uh, this is my first video on this channel. It's a new channel, but uh, there's going to be a lot of new videos on 5M of how to do stuff um, like weapon sounds, EUP, vehicles, vehicle engine sounds, whole bunch to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.